Hello guys, you're welcome back. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukumi Bikeka. So Elon Musk accepted what our, what Quran says 14,000 years ago. So let's check it out. Um, it will absolutely improve your happiness. Um, absolutely. Um, we're, we're literally, we've evolved to have that as all creatures have. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. When we say that Islam provides the solution to every aspect of life, many argue that this statement is only applicable to the olden period or the period to which our beloved Prophet Muhammad belonged. But what if someone who is extremely successful in today's world says something that falls in line with what Islam has encouraged? Will Islam still be labeled as a not so up-to-date religion? Elon Musk, the wealthiest person in the world, said something about how one becomes happier by having kids. People just don't understand, like, nothing will make you happier than having kids. Um, it will absolutely improve your happiness level to have kids. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't rewarding instinctively to have kids, we wouldn't have them. Yes. You will absolutely be happier if you have kids. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. Um, we're, we're literally, we've evolved to have that, as all creatures have. Mm -hmm. He said that people need to understand that having kids will make them happier like nothing else and having kids will improve their happiness level. He also said that if it wasn't rewarding instinctively, we wouldn't have them. But because it is something whose happiness cannot be resembled. When any Muslim scholar would have suggested the idea of the connection between having more kids and happiness, he would have been ignored or labeled as illiterate. But what would people say when such words are said by the most successful person in the world? We live in a world where people have opted to have no kids at all because they pose a hindrance to their worldly success. They drain away their financial assets and one's peace is lost as they are always careful about their kids. A PEW Research Center survey shows 44% of US childless adults believe it is unlikely or very unlikely they will have children in the future, citing personal reasons and environmental concerns. Brothers and sisters, when modern day parents consider children a burden, Islam considers them adornments for this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, <laughs> In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the son of Adam loves having children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has designed man in such a fashion that his heart is filled with the love of kids. Brothers and sisters, when couples start deciding to be childless and to have only one kid, they are indeed going against their nature. Children are regarded as a precious gift, cherished by people who place their hopes and affection upon them. A surplus of money can never substitute for good children. We as Muslims are advised not to fear poverty when hoping for children. Children are a means of happiness. When a child smiles, it seems as if the whole sky is filled with joy. The efforts that the parents put into raising their kids are a means of earning Jannah. A righteous child is a form of Sadaqa Jariya for the parents when they pass away. Every now and then, Islam will prove that this religion is the one that is applicable till the end of time. Its values will be agreed upon by everyone, including billionaires like Elon Musk, even though he himself is an agnostic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who understand the importance of kids in one's life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant kids to those praying for them. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Wow, that was a beautiful comment. But I don't think it says something regarding Quran per se. But it says something about life in general. About, you know, starting a family. You know, he has his mindset that it's not enough for you to have a child, but because of the way the society is 
having children is is very paramount is is necessary things that's why most people actually get married because of it. they want to have kids and that, and that's what most people believe in in marriage people believe that the main reason why we, we, they marry is to have kids when they are not having the kids oh then the, their behavior might change their lifestyle might change and they might not you know you know how it is but this was beautiful and I enjoy watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe but thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in the next one bye